going to read Geronimo and the Gold Medal Mystery by Geronimo Stilton. Dear Mouse Friends, welcome to the world of Geronimo Stilton. Oh, maybe he's not the author. <laughs> the Roden Gazette editorial staff. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh, there's a mouse riding a motorcycle inside. That doesn't seem like a good choice. <laughs> Geronimo Stilton. Here, over here, we have Geronimo Stilton. And it says, a learned and brainy mouse, editor of the Rodents Gazette. We have Thea Stilton, Geronimo's sister, and special correspondent at the Rodent Gazette. We have oh. Trap Stilton, an awful joker, Geronimo's cousin and owner of the store Cheap Junk for Less. And we have Benjamin Stilton here, a sweet and loving nine-year-old mouse, Geronimo's favorite nephew. This is by Scholastic. <gasps> so excited. Okay. Not the Olympics again. It was sweltering hot summer morning when my alarm went off. I dragged my sorry tail out of bed and turned on the radio for the latest news. The Olympics are about to begin, the radio announcer shouted. Wow. And I do mean shouted. I rolled my eyes. Rat munching rattlesnakes, the Olympics? That's all anyone in New Mouse City ever talks about. It's always sport, sport, sport. Why doesn't anyone ever get excited about the latest book on Neo Ratonic? Look, they're setting up a billboard. Coming soon, the Olympics. Oh, sorry. Neo-Ratonic comparative philosophy, I said with a sigh. I flipped through the newspaper and saw a huge headline. Only three days left to the Olympics. Moldy mozzarella, the Olympics again? I snorted. Mm, he doesn't seem very happy. I left my mouse hole and I headed for the office. And what was the first thing I saw? Workers putting up an enormous TV screen right in the middle of town. Why? So everyone could watch the Olympics live, of course. I got to the office and saw that everybody was a buzz. They were all talking about... The Olympics, of course. I got to the office and saw that every... Oh, sorry. So I locked myself in my peaceful office. You see, I'm a bit of a book mouse. Oops, that reminds me. I almost forgot to tell you. My name is Stilton Geronimo. Geronimo Stilton. I'm the publisher and editor-in-chief of the Rodents Gazette, the most popular newspaper on Mouse Island. I was settled in reading a manuscript when suddenly I heard a roar of a motor approaching. There was only one mouse I knew who would dare to make that much noise in my nice, quiet office. Shh, let's do another chapter. Great, Barry. I need a teensy weensy favor. A second later, the door burst open and my sister Thea, special correspondent, to the Rodents Gazette made a grand entrance. Thea, how many times do I have to tell you not to ride your motorcycle in my office? I groaned. My sister ignored me. She went right ahead and parked her bike on top of my desk. I know. In the process, she squished my tail, flattened my paw, and stained my favorite jacket with motor oil. Before I could squeak and protest, she bent down and whispered sweetly in my ear, Little brother, I brought you your favorite cheese puffs from the bakery. You know, the ones with blue cheese stuffing and parmesan sprinkled on top. Mmm. That did sound delicious, but I was wary. When my sister acts nice, it's usually because she has something up her fur. 
Gary Berry, I need to ask you a itsy bitsy teeny weeny little favor. As Thea continued, I smiled. I know my sister, like a cat knows its claws. And even though she drives me crazy, I do anything for. Her. Sure. What is it? I need you to cover the Olympics. She blurted out. I was stunned. But but but, but I thought Grandfather asked you to cover it. A grandfather, William Short Paws, was the founder of the Rodents Gazette. He ruled with an iron paw. Yes. But something came up. Besides, you're such a fine rodent. So intelligent, so professional, so on top of things. Oh, she's laying it on thick. Forget it. I, I know squat about sports, I objected. Thea just smiled at me. But you've got to go. It's been decided. Even Grandfather said so. As if on cue, the phone rang. I picked it up at once. Hello? Stilton here. Geronimo Stilton. A voice thundered in my ear. So loudly my eardrums almost shattered. Short pause here. William Short Pause. I sighed deeply. Before I knew it, Grandfather started barking orders at me. Grandson, listen up. One, run home and pack your suitcase. Two, go straight to the airport. Three, take the first flight to Athens. You're going to cover the Olympics. First, I want you to write a juicy article for the Rodents Gazette. Then, I need you to do a daily live TV broadcast. And finally, since you already be there, make sure to pick me up some Greek cheese. Those are some tall orders. I tried to reason with them, but, but Grandfather, I'm busy. Don't argue with your grandfather, he thundered. What could I do? Thea has always had grandfather wrapped around her little paw. And of course, there's no arguing with grandfather once he's made up his mind. There was nothing to do but scamper home, pack my suitcase, and get to the airport as fast as my paws could carry me. So down at the bottom, we have a legend that's going to tell us about Greece. Area, 50,942 square miles. Population, 10.7 million. They speak Greek. The currency is Euros. The capital is Athens. Borders Albania, Macedonia, and Bulgaria to the north. Turkey to the east. Greece is a peninsula surrounded by water on three sides. It's flanked by the iconic sea, Ionic Sea, and on the west, the Aegean Sea, and on the east, the Mediterranean Sea, on the south. Those are some big words. All right, we're going to stop there.